Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. I have taken the courage and the strength to put everything together and film a video. It is now like 8 p.m. I rarely do film at this time. Mind the noise in the background because a washing machine is running and I just can't be asked to turn it off. So I was just rummaging through my makeup and I thought I would um, do a look using products I was really obsessed with before. I know some other people have done this in the past. This is just the best time to do it. So yeah, I, I've literally taken stuff that I used to use all the time, like every single day. Most of these products are empty and really old, um, except for the eyeshadow palette. It's so hard to get through eyeshadow palettes, to be honest. I'm gonna do my post notification shout out today, and today's one's gonna go to Vanessa C. So thank you so much for watching my video and leaving a really sweet comment. If you guys wanna get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and let me know in the comments below when you've done so, or you can just leave a nice comment. My hair is just really not cooperating today. Right, I really need to get rid of this mustache. There's so much. Okay, I feel a bit better now. Now that the washing machine has stopped, we've got a suit maker just boiling in the background. So it's really loud, but it's okay. We'll just deal with it, okay? Right now I'm using the Brow Styler by Benefit. I used it, I can't find my precise um, brow pencil by Benefit because obviously I've used it all but I'm using a Benefit product because I'm literally obsessed with any um, Benefit brow product they're amazing and I definitely recommend them to anyone we need to get rid of the brow hairs on top here it makes such a big difference okay I'm now going to take a bit of the concealer I'm going to carve the brows a little bit I'm just gonna use some of my Hourglass brow gel. Um, nothing special this one, I just I just really like it. This one's a bit lighter, it's in soft brunette and I feel like this one just makes my brow hairs become more like, it just gives a bit more texture, and makes it look extra hairy because that's what we want just on the brows. All right, so brows are done. So now we can finally move on to eyes. I'm just gonna put some concealer all over like so. And I'm just gonna blend this out. For eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use a Desert Dust palette. I was obsessed with this. First shade I'm going to use is Blazing, which is like a bright orange. Oh, and also none of my brushes are clean. Just want this to be really buffed into the outer corner. The reason why I like to do my eyeshadow like first is like I can really go out on the edges and just clean that up later. Right, I'm really happy with that. I'm now going to take the shade Oud and we're just going to put this in the outer corner. I forgot how these Huda Beauty shadows are so easy to blend. And just really take your time if you want like this really like soft blended out kind of look. Now I'm going to take the shade Blood Moon with a bit of Celestial and we're going to pop this on. I've just wet the little Huda Beauty sponge brush. Honestly that shade is almost had a bloody heart attack oh my god guys this eyeshadow is popping next i'm going to use my maybelline lash sensational mascara i would recommend this to any of you it's just the best mascara ever for lashes today i'm going to be using the Ilo sabina hanan lashes in the style there's not a name on this one, but I'll write it in the info box if I can find the name. I'm not sure. I've already popped them on and I did have to cut them a bit, but they are perfect 
So yeah, those are the eyes done for now. I guess we can now move on to skin. For primer, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer, the original one. This stuff is literally empty. Nothing, I shouldn't. I need to throw this away, but we'll use it for this video. But there's literally nothing in there. Just put it down like that. I broke the pump on this, but it's been well loved. I would definitely repurchase it, but I prefer the hydrating one because it's more for my skin type. This is definitely more pore filling. Um, and it's just really nice guys then for foundation i thought i'd use the fenty beauty pro filter foundation in the shade 330 i haven't used this in the longest time so i thought why not today so i'm just gonna put a bunch on but this again is more my summer set shade and i've barely been out during these times okay so i'm really pale right now i'm just gonna blend this all out I might just wipe away a little bit of the eyeshadow. Just a little bit because I really want that diffused effect still. Oh, and by the way, guys, thank you so much for all the love you guys have been showing on my recent videos. Um, it really means the world to me and like I, I want to do more baking videos for sure. Um, but the, the thing is like I want to do cookies but I don't know what to bake and the problem is I bake all of this stuff and then I have to eat it all and I'm just trying to be on a diet right now. It's good content and I've been enjoying watching other people's baking videos during these times. It's therapeutic for me and a lot of you have been enjoying it so why not you know. I don't know where the hell these baby hairs have come from but they've come from somewhere. Okay I'm really happy with the way that blended out. It's very very... I've, I've actually forgot how nice this foundation is. Right, so the next product is concealer and this product is something I used to use all the time. This is literally empty. It's the Instant Anti-Age Eraser Concealer by Maybelline and I got the shade Caramel. I use this like hell. Um, I've got some left. Hopefully I don't get any spots from this because it just needs to be thrown away. Just gonna blend this out. Gosh, the coverage is insane. I forgot how good... Look how it's just covered my under eye circles. I forgot how good this concealer is. The next product I'm going to grab, actually, is the Dark Deep Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer by MAC. It's not even a bronzer, it's powder. But I I hit pan on this, and I rarely hit pan and stuff. And I'm just going to use this first to, like, um, kind of, like, contour my nose. Because I've been into it lately. I'm not going to do it majorly, but... Just gonna frame the sides. Cause for me, like, I do see a difference. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna use my well beloved Ben Nye banana powder. I haven't used this in so long, oh my God. So I'm gonna use some of this, obviously with our sponge and we're just gonna do a bit of baking with it. We want to get the sides of our nails. I know I look a little bit crazy right now, but we're going to brush this right off. Is this a fill? I kind of like it actually. Anyways, let's put some bronzer on. I'm going to use the same bronzer on a brush. Right, so next product is the Maybelline Master Bronze Palette. I love this stuff. I've almost hit pan on the bronzer, but we're going to use the blush and the highlight today. This is, again, another palette I would recommend to anyone. I don't know why. I've, I've just got so many products. I've, I feel like if I just had a set amount of products, this would be, like, in my makeup bag. But we're going to just go in with some blusher. I'm just taking the Movi blush shade. And we're just going to lightly buff that on the cheeks. I'm going to take some highlights, just a little bit, I'm not too fussed about highlights, <gasps> should I have said that? Honestly I'm not, like I just prefer more natural dewy glow lately, 
Okay, we got a glow. Okay, we might put a little bit on the tip of the nose and the, the, the bridge. Okay, yes, like this woman. Okay. We can now finish the rest of the eyes. Um, I'm going to go in with the orange first. I think I'm just going to go in with the orange. And we're going to go in with mascara. And I just want to go in with a lighter shade. I'm going to go with Nefreti from the palette. And we're just going to pop this in our inner corner. It just has to be done. Now for lips. I'm going to go in for my cork lip pencil. It's like an oldie but a goodie. And I use this till today. Like if there was one lip liner I would use. It would just be this one. Now, this next product, oh my god, this has gone places. This is empty. Oh my god. Like, when I tell you empty, it's like, it's all like thick and clumpy and airy inside. This has been, like, one of my favourites. It's the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte um, Lipstick in Girlfriend. So, I'm just going to put this in the centre. Oh my god! Okay, just to finish off, we're gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is almost empty and this is my second bottle. I used to use this all the time. It won't work! There's like barely any in there. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Is my face the same colour as my arm? I have no idea at this point. But please bear in mind, this is like my summer shade color okay um so maybe not that great there but um yeah i feel like a whole different person i feel like i should go out for an event or something at this point um but yeah i should actually start using some of these products again i definitely need to repurchase the maybelline concealer i need to start using this powder again the bronzer i might repurchase the bronzer as well i think i need to repurchase this lipstick it might need to come back in my collection because this is old oh i really had fun doing this video i hope you guys enjoyed this one and uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and if there are any um, video ideas that you have that i should do let me know in the comments below um it can be anything honestly but let me know all right i'm gonna go now i'm so hungry i need to take a shower <laughs> again thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next one